a lower one. Next five for two tier, and welcome back to the random Mugen Mania. And yes, folks, despite how I have made some extra additions, yet yeah, I probably shouldn't have in this roster, the Survey motif is complete. Or a draft of it, because I am thinking about taking some of those characters out before I move to the Ultra Big. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about making replacements pretty soon. And they're probably going to be replacing, well, I'm going to be replacing characters that are from a certain developer. If you know which one it is, then good for you. But let's be real here. Those characters have problems. Secondly, next week and the following week, Random Movie Mania will be on Sunday, not Saturday. So, you'll see the next episode on the 26th, and then the following one on January 2nd. So, yeah. Random Movie Mania on Sunday for the next two weeks, and then the 8th, it's back to Saturday. That's because the holiday is coming up. But regardless, let's have some fun with this roster, and See who we get on this 25th edition. Grand Milestone, huh? Good. Yeah. Alright, guys. Alright, so we got Alcard running out the team on the left. For this first battle of this Milestone of 25 videos. And Soul Bad Guys running out the team on the right for this first battle. Earthquake from Chamber Showdown versus Braveken versus. I forgot the name of the game, but I know it's a Dooku game. Alright, looks like we're on the stage for the four from Riverdale. Okay, looks like Mystica Nagamori is the third character, but Earthquake is just so big I can barely see the second one. But oh yeah, it's Inkidu from when I birth and there's Alucard. So on the right team, we've got one of the common riders. Probably one of the soldier type fighters from Falcon Road and Soul Bad Guy. And I might need to find Earthquake and Antipath because you can just crush them right there. Now we got Inkidu. I honestly hope there's an Antipath for Inkidu because considering that his developer is retiring. I want to, you know, give him more strength, but his combos are doing well right now, so. But the yeah, iPad is probably be pretty good. As a matter of fact, I probably should give all those three attack characters to the back list. Just because. I don't think we're no CV today, folks. Well, for this first match. But who knows? It all depends how Rikido does. Ah, we got them. The Common Rider Knight. Most of the Common Riders I have are from the show that was in the US. But I am adding other Common Riders just because. Either way, he is just crushing Kiyu right now. Nikki with the burst. He was playing back. He's getting close. Get so far. And he's almost there. Just a little bit more. He's got this, but time to run out. And even though Counter Knight defeated him, he did give some good damage on him, so Mizuga could take advantage of this. Either way, no CB, but you know, I honestly prefer seeing all four characters have some kind of sunlight, regardless if it's no CB or not. And there goes Mizuka taking on Common Rider Knight, or Mass Rider Knight, or whatever. The guy from. Oh, Dan, that's his name. 
Anyway, as I was saying, the Karmar is that guy with the sword. Karmar are nice. So I, guess, I haven't seen that Kamen Rider that aired in the US in 2009. Either way, Dan is getting his butt kicked by Miska. Despite being a discolor, a discolor character. Probably apologize to all the Conrad fans out there because I may have purchased games, but you know it's not that bad. And I just realized I forgot to switch the other one. Ah well. Unless this is my plan. Oh yeah, it probably was, yeah, because Yeah. Only the last character is blocked by the burst, looks like so. I don't think it's that bad with this other version. I might want to specify things. After a lot after the three is recorded. And Mizuga just took down Soul! Man! She got close there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with this one because. There's less characters that are going to be blocking most of it anyway, so... I think it's because of the position of certain things for characters. And since the original one has the characters closer to the time, it could be blocked much easier, depending on the character, but... Yeah. Scratch my head about replacing it. It was what I planned. Hope so. Alright, next match. Sailor Neptune is running on the team on the left. And Daniel is running on the team on the right. Ivy Valentine versus Soul Calibur versus Kaigen from Metro Royale. And we're playing one of the Battle Network stages. The Battle Network 4 tournament stage. And this is from the third tournament, I believe. We got Ivy, we got Charlotte, we got Heisenko, aka Lele, and Sailor Neptune versus Kaigen. The Red Dragon from Two Count Felt, Poison Me, and Dan. Ivy is getting crushed by Kaigen despite getting some major hits here and there. But I have a feeling Charlotte might give her a challenge because I actually gave her an eye patch. Tear with the one from Uru. See how that was? That was something. Here at the Red Dragon. Oh, Catherine, that's her name is. Catherine. That was Charlotte. If I say Charlotte, I apologize for that. But the fact is, she got an AI patch, and she is just dominating characters that have strong AI. So, it's possible I might need to find a way to nerf this. That might have been a level 3 super right there. So, it's possible she's gonna OCB this. Unless Daniel does something. Even then, Lele and Sarah Neptune can be dangerous. So I might want to find a way to nerf this AI patch for Catherine. 
Just so she doesn't cause too much havoc that no one can beat her. But you know, giving a character a buff can help. But not too much. As long as it's balanced, I'll be happy. Alright, last match. Shadow Deal Famicom is running out the team on the left. And the Shredder is running on the team on the right. They're going away from meeting Yasha versus Shao Kahn. And we're fighting on the Ocean Pacific. And it's the one with Bubble Man. In fact, it is Bubble Man's We got Kagome, we got Zappa, we got Applejack, and we got Shao Deal Famicom. The Shao Kahn, Sonic Mania, Garamu, and the Shredder. Shao Kahn wins. Get up and fight me! And Shao Kahn is just dominating, proving how much of a tyrant he is. Yeah, I'm sticking with these DX white bars. Since it always seems to block the last character, which I see anyway. It's not really a problem. It does block the third character a bit, but hopefully not too much. I might want to change Shao Kahn's size though. But then again, he is a boss character. I do want to expect that. But. Now Zab was just playing loose. Man! I think I just had some instant karma there. Zabba just took down Shao Kahn. Hey, that's good your character for you. you probably make sure they have AI patches if possible, or at least have an AI that to dominate. I mean, playing these characters are top tier, but defense in the eye. And Sonic BN is just defending your CV. But yeah! Shao Kahn just got crushed at the last moment of that second round. So we could see something interesting here, folks, to round out this 25th video. Hey, look, it's King Dynamite. But now we're is just walking on projectile sign me as And... Sign me is not letting up. It super misses, and now with Jack takes him down. So will she survive the next two? Well, she's crushing the rom Dormammu, so maybe finding an AI patch in the future might help, but it depends on whether I'm user or not. I probably should, just to set balance and make sure everyone has proper AI patches. Oh yeah, the Shredder. To make sure he has an AI patch. But let's see how he does against Applejack for now. And he was just crushing it. To start things out, though. He's not letting out with Jack Attacker. How is that with the counter attack? There she goes! Alvadag is just laying loose of that projectile, or long range attack. Earthquake move that he's using. And she takes it! The Shredder came close, but. No cigar. Either way, that's it for this 25th random Mugen Mania. Just a reminder that next week, it's gonna be on Sunday because of Christmas, so. But yeah. 
I'll make sure to list anything I may have mispronounced or information you might want to know in the description. If I don't say anything about AI patches and you know about it, I would appreciate you let me know. Regardless, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a happy holiday season over the next few days. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Ramadan. And so on. Alright. Later, folks.